I'm liking everything about this product, guys. And the only con I could say really is the Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. Today, I want to do a little review on this amp by the House of Vintage Muscle. Now, I do think this is somewhat of a hormone mix. It has turkesterone and ectosterone. Now, both those are plant steroids. I think ectosteroids is the correct term. A lot of people say that because it's an insect steroid that it gives you a little benefits of a typical steroid, but it's not going to cause any of the extra issues that testosterone would. When I researched all the products, the original turkesterone that I was taking looks unique to all the other brands and it looks much stronger than the other brands. People are saying that it's actually not turkesterone the way I'm describing it but that original product that I took I think it's called Black Forest Labs. It's almost 100% turkesterone extract so when I was 18, 19, 20 I tried a lot of pro hormones that technically weren't pro hormones because a pro hormone is something that's not a hormone and then once you put it into your body it gets converted into a hormone and that's not what I was taking. I was taking pretty much legitimate steroids. They were legal, they were over the counter, but when you look them up, they were active steroids and they were very strong. Some that come to mind are Superdrol, Methylstimbolone, Epistane. But yeah, I've tried a lot of that stuff in the past. It's very great for muscle growth, but I just really didn't like any of the side effects. So I was just like, you know, I'm just basically gonna ride out my natural physique as long as I can. Turkesterone was like a perfect blend of really strong effects and and almost no side effects. And if it wasn't for the trigesterone being so strong, it probably wouldn't have shut me down and then it probably would have had even less side effects. And most of the trigesterone that I've seen on the market is usually about 500 milligrams with a 10% extract, which should be about 50 milligrams of active turkesterone. And like I was saying in the, like I was saying in the Black Forest Labs, they have 500 milligrams of active turkesterone in their products. So I don't know if that's the same exact product, if there's some numbers that are off there, but all these companies claiming they have 50 milligrams turkesterone and the other one had 500. It was really strong. I actually loved it. And then I reached out to another company called Bulk Stimulants and they carried one hormone-based product called 5A Lab laxogenin which I also really, really like. That laxogenin was super, super, super strong, even more strength and size than the trichesterone, but it also shut me down a lot quicker and a lot harder. This is the first time that I'm going to be trying the ectosterone. Hopefully it says it right there. Apparently, ectosterone is the original ectosteroid, and turkesterone is built off that kind of blueprint. To be honest, guys, I have a lot to say about this product. I really, really like it. Lots of pros, a little to no cons. Let's just jump right into it. So, AMP is basically 400 milligrams turkesterone with 10% extract, leaving you 40 milligrams of active turkesterone, which is very, very close to those other turkesterone supplements, and usually they don't carry anything else. So, this this one is very, very similar because it has 400 milligrams turkesterone at 10%. So again, it's super, super close only 10 milligrams away from the other doses. And for ectosterone, they have 150 milligrams. So I don't know really what the active dose for ectosterone is. I think it would be like 500 to 1,000. I'm not too sure. And there's also, I think, beta ectosterone. When I've looked up ectosterone in pill form, a lot of the times it does come with turkesterone. And when they mix ectosterone and turkesterone, it usually is about $70. And then we got this recovery mix, which is glucosamine. Now glucosamine is pretty much one of the most notorious things to help strengthen your bones. So not only are BCAAs probably going to help your muscle strength and your joints, on top of that, turkesterone and ectosterone are probably going to help your joints. And you got something else to seal the deal with this glucosamine. I like it right there. So 750 milligrams, that's quite a bit. I do think the average dose is about 1,500 milligrams, which would mean this is exactly a half dose. But for people not buying this specifically for glucosamine, it's something nice to put in the background. I really do enjoy it. Oh, and then we also have this hydration mix. Now, I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but I am really, really, really big on electrolytes. I think that anybody who drinks a lot and anybody who does a lot of exercise should have electrolytes on hand at all times. If I ever feel like I'm having a weird heartbeat, my body's not feeling good, one of the first things I wanna make sure I have is electrolytes. And they have their own mix here, but I am a little 
little bit confused because it says hydrate 0.75 milligrams, which would mean it's 750 milligrams. Is this electrolyte blend a proprietary blend? Or is it saying that these are the electrolytes below, which they are electrolytes, but that's not 750 milligrams, that's about 75 milligrams. I really wish they had some potassium. Maybe there is a hydration complex in here that contains it, I don't know, but all right, I just wanna stop and say something really quick. They use this cyanocobalin, which I have no idea why they use. The better version of B12 is called methylcobalin. This cyanocobalin will turn into a small bit of cyanide in your body, but don't worry, I've had this supplement plenty of times in the past, and one of the things I do like about it is it's only 200%. Like I've had the cyanocobalin at like 1,000, 2,000%, and I've been fine. A central amino acid blend slash BCAA blend. So you got valine, L-phenylalanine, love it, L-histanine, and tryptophan. Actually, I'm a really big fan of tryptophan for mood boosting. The only problem is that if you take a lot, it's probably gonna make you a little bit drowsy so you're gonna get a little bit of that tryptophan effect, but it's only at 32.5 milligrams. I have used a lot of products and this company genuinely is unique. This is like a metal cap here. I think it is like metal coated and not all metal. Really sturdy, really high quality. I really like the overall quality of everything here. I've tried two different flavors, mixed berry and I think like sour candy or sour something else. And I'm not gonna lie, the taste on these is really bland and it's not the best, but I've noticed that I've been getting stomach aches when there's a lot of artificial flavors in certain supplements. As much as I've taken this one scoop, two scoops, I have never had stomach pain or any sort of stomach issues with these products. I took one scoop for about a week, I wanna say, and then the last three or four days, I've jumped up to two scoops. What I liked about this was this was the first mix where I could just take a scoop, I'm gonna get benefits, and it's not like I have to stop taking it. Again, with the 5-alpha laxogen in it, it shut me down really hard and I was already getting some gains. And the turkesterone I probably took for like seven days or so when I first got it. I use it kind of as needed now, but because I've been trying this product, I'm not really gonna use any product that's gonna be similar, that's gonna mess up my results. So these results have been, again, completely abstaining from everything but AMP. So the one scoop was really, really good. I just felt a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger and like more recovery and things like that. It's probably the only plant steroid mix that I could take every day if I took one scoop at a time and I noticed little to no shutdown with that one scoop. So although the other turkesterone that I used was really, really strong at the same time, it's so strong that I don't wanna take it every day. So this is something that's a little bit more balanced, gonna give me some extra effects, but not gonna shut me down as much on one scoop. It's still gonna provide some benefits. So I kept going to the gym. I worked out the day or two before and I just couldn't get sore. And then when I went over to the two scoops, that's when I just really, really, loved it and it has so much more of a natural growth pattern to my body versus the other torquesterone and the other 5a laxogenin those were just instantly i looked bigger instantly like i, I looked like i just gained like five ten pounds of muscle i think it says you can take three yeah take one to three scoops a day which is a pretty good dose. One scoop of this is kind of maintenance. Two scoops is like, you, you wanna get a little bigger. Three is like, I'm just going for it. As far as the price, I think this one is like $68, which is really expensive, I know. But I think they gave me a discount with like Real Josh TV and it takes it to 28% off, which makes it $50, which makes it really the same price as the other turkesterone blends. Anyways, guys, you gotta let me know if that code works. As far as AMP, I really, really like it. It's just a great overall muscle building product. You got BCAAs, you got electrolytes, you got essential amino acids, you got two different kinds of ectosteroids, and you got glucosamine for those joints. This product does a lot in one. The only con I could say really is the taste, but if you were to make this taste really good, but then hurt my stomach, I wouldn't want that. So I actually like the purity of the taste. I love this metal cap too. It's like legit like metal. It's metal coated. For a product I'm gonna throw away after 50 servings, I appreciate the attention to detail. I'm liking everything about this product, guys. So we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.